Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Bob Rose. Today's weather spotlight is on the hot temperatures of August and why they occur so long after the solstice. August is upon us and as you know, this month is typically the hottest and most uncomfortable period of the entire year. We'll often see numerous days with the temperature at or above 100 degrees. The month drags on with almost no day-to-day -day change in the weather. But have you ever wondered why the hottest temperatures of summer typically occur about now and not back around June 21st, the time of the summer solstice? You might recall that around the time of the solstice, the sun's rays shine most directly on the northern hemisphere and the days are really long. The temperature is hot, but not nearly as hot as what we find in August. Here in Central Texas, the hottest temperatures of summer, strangely enough, occur about six weeks after the solstice, in the first couple of weeks of August. Scientists have a name for this strange phenomenon. It's called the lag of the seasons. To help explain, you might think back to visiting a beach or a swimming pool in June. Even though the days are long, the water is still feels a little cool. That's because the summer sun hasn't had enough time coming out of spring to heat up the water. But by August, we've had numerous hot, sunny days and the water is really warm. The same thing happens with our atmosphere. The sun hasn't had enough time to really heat things up by the third week of June. But by August, the land and the atmosphere have become really hot after numerous sunny days and we feel that with lots of triple digit temperatures. Fortunately, the temperature reaches a peak about mid-August. After that, the temperature slowly begins to fall with the days growing shorter, heading toward fall. With the shorter days, the atmosphere just can't maintain that peak heat. And after a sweltering August, that first cold front of autumn can't come soon enough. With your Spotlight on Weather, I'm Bob Rose. Thanks for watching.